the four gauges interface uh, monitors four analog channels with alarming meter gauges and it also displays the minimum, maximum, and average readings of those channels. So let's take a look at it. Let's let the interface load. And what we're presented with here on the right hand side of the screen are four vertical meters. And these vertical meters monitor channel 0 through channel 3 of the analog channels. They also have some other features which we're going to get into here as soon as we start plotting. So let's do that. Let's come over here to our control area. Click on the rocker switch and begin plotting. As before in other videos, we are now plotting uh, 10 channels of analog data each with its own separate color, and we're also plotting eight channels of digital data. So since our interface is involved with only four channels of analog data, and specifically channel 0 through channel 3, let's make some adjustments to the plot, and that is let's drop the digital plot going up here to the View menu, coming down and unchecking the display digital section. Takes a couple of tries when we're plotting. And since we're only looking at channel 0 through channel 3, let's also come to the configuration menu here. Click on colors and scales and uncheck everything except channels 0 through channel 3. Okay, then we can drop our configuration menu. So now we're plotting channels 0 through 3. Let's adjust our Y scale a bit. Okay, now we're 0 to 250 on our Y scale. And we're plotting along very effectively here. So let's start by going up here to the first vertical meter monitoring channel 0. We notice that the range for this meter is 0 to 1000. And our range for our analog channels is something on the order of about 10 to about 210. So rather than keep this scale as it is right now, Let's come down to this button here that says Set to Y Scale and click it. And now we see that our channel meters have changed their scale to match the Y Scale of 0 to 250. So it's a little bit more understandable. What we have also under each meter is the maximum, minimum, and average values for that particular channel. And these values change every time we go through a reset process. And that reset process is normally taken care of when the plot reaches the maximum time value. Or we can come down here to the reset plot axis and reset at any time. So let's allow our plot to continue. However, if we want to see a good average, and not just the average over the time period that's on the plot area now, let's uncheck the Clear on Reset button. And what that will do is will allow the average value to take effect over a much, much longer period of time. And we'll also be able to monitor the minimum and maximum values over a long period of time as well. So these values will not reset every time the plot resets. These meters, once again, are alarming meters. And let's set the alarms, if we will, to some values that are within the range of the plot values. And let's change that to something like 150. All right, now we are at 150 for channel 0 for our maximum setting. And let's 
do a minimum alarm setting and we'll make that let's say 100. All right so channel 0 now has a maximum alarm setting of 150 and a minimum alarm setting of 100. But as we can tell we don't hear any alarms going off when the actual plot goes above or below these settings. And the reason for that is we don't have our alarm turned on. And as the text tip says, turn on the gauges alarm. And let's do that. We noticed that our alarm went off. Now it's minimum. Okay, so that's the demonstration of our minimum and maximum alarm settings, at least for channel 0. We can do the same thing for channel 1, channel 2, and channel 3 by the same method. And we can also change the wave files for the various alarms so that we can tell audibly which channel is alarming. In other words, we can change the wave file to make it different for channel 1 and different for channel 2 and channel 3 and so forth. One thing I ought to mention too is that we're not really locked into channel 0 through channel 3. We can come up here and we can change the channel number any time by clicking on the auto channel and changing it from 0 in this case to 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 or or any number that uh, we would really want to measure. So once again we have the four vertical meters and the vertical meters are there for any analog channel we choose to monitor. So we're also able to of course turn on our alarms, turn them off again, set our meter scales to the Y scale, and clear on reset, meaning that uh, if we have this button checked, that means our values will clear for every reset that we engage, which is normally when the plot reaches the end of the plotting screen. Also, we should mention that the menu items and controls on the bottom have been covered in the standard interface video. So please take a look at that video to understand how the menu controls work and what their features are.